you guys it's a good day and welcome back to another video oh my gosh y'all it's been so long since i recorded a hair video and i am so excited to take you guys along with me on my wash day today like oh my god y'all don't even understand i have so much in store for you guys and i'm just so happy that i'm able to get back into hair feel motivated and just do this so as you guys can see in that title down below you guys are going to be coming along with me on my wash day, I am going to be using some special products from Curlsmith. These products were sent to me like a very, very long time ago, but I wasn't really able to get like the full gist, like using all the products that they sent me. I only used one of them and that one product really did it for me. So I'm really excited to see what the rest of these products do for me. I am going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to be using. Um, I already went ahead and pre pooed my hair with aloe vera. If you guys do want to see a updated and new video on how I pre pooed my hair with aloe vera, you can comment down below or leave a like button and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, that's basically it. I really don't know what hairstyle I'm going to do after I wash my hair, but we're going to see. I might do a braid out. I might just do my two Harriet Tubman twist. <laughs> I really don't know. Okay, so first things first, the products that I am going to be using today, I'm going to start off with the shampoo, of course. I'm going to be using the Vivid Tones Vibrancy Shampoo. It says it's delicate for all hair types. It has lemon peel oil, dandelion petals, lemon citric acid, squeezed pineapple. It has a lot of great stuff in here, so I'm really excited to try it. It is going to be my first time trying this shampoo, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what it does to my hair because... You know, sometimes we want different types of shampoo. We want like a moisturizing shampoo or something that's really, really going to get in there and get all the gunk out of our hair. Or sometimes we just want like a regular clean. So as of right now, I want something that's not really going to strip my hair too much because it is the winter season and I need as much moisture as possible. Next, I am going to be following in with the Glow Perfecting Conditioner. I have used this already. I can say that this is a really, really good conditioner. Um, and I know Curlsmith is a little bit pricey, so I think that the conditioner is worth the price. But y'all, I, yeah, I use a lot of this. Like, y'all can see the bottle is like a little bit empty. <laughs> yeah, this product is good though. It's really good. So hopefully I can get enough out of here to just quickly condition my hair. And it smells so good. It smells so, 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 so good. Um, it says it has watermelon seed, wild strawberry, beetroot juice shea butter mash i can really say that these products have like good good ingredients now following that i am going to be deep conditioning my hair with the bond curl rehab self i hope i'm pronouncing this correctly um it's a strength recipe and honestly um i realized that some of these products they have different like recipes at the top the shampoo has a color recipe um along with the conditioner it has a color recipe um, but with the deep conditioner, it has a strength recipe. I'm also going to follow in with the Feather Light Protein Cream. It's a strength recipe as well. It's a styling cream for weak, damaged curls. It has wild rice protein, pressed hemp oil, sweet almond oil, shredded kale, guava fruit juice, um, shiitake mushroom, and its flexible hold is a four. So um, it says for this product, I just apply it to my wet hair after my shower, rake through it, ensure that it's evenly distributed through my strands. Um, etc etc but i think that i'm gonna use this cream to do whatever hairstyle i'm gonna end up doing by the end of this video um and last but not least i am gonna go in with the hold me softly style balm um it's a styling cream for curly and wavy hair it has a soft hold of a one um it has rosemary oil apricot kernel smashed avocado um and good stuff i think i might just use a little bit of this probably on my ends to see what it does since it's only like a little bottle um but yeah so let's hop into this wash day and I'm gonna see you guys in the shower.
All right, guys, so I'm back. Now I'm about to deep condition my hair with the Rehab Salve. Um, yeah, honestly, I can really say that that shampoo and that conditioner is A1 to the day done. It's, it's good. It's really good. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I wouldn't lie to y'all. It's good. I think you guys should go get it. I think that definitely my hair feels super moisturized. I think that conditioner had a really, really good slip. The first time I used it, I was really shocked. Um, but now it like, it double shocked me. So anyways, we're going to go on with this rehab salve. Um, I typically don't like to deep condition my hair in the shower only because I like to stare in the mirror and just see what I'm doing and part my hair in sections. It should make sure that every strand is getting product. Um, so I'm not one of these girls that like to deep condition their hair in the shower, honestly. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to part my hair. With the same wide tooth comb that I use to um, condition. Let's do that really quickly. I'll probably part my hair in like four. My hair is getting so thick, y'all. I don't even know what to do with it. Um, I think I might part my hair not in four. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to part my hair in four. What I like to do, honestly, because I don't think I'm going to part it in four. I think that I'm just going to like split this in two and then condition it and then split this and condition it and y'all get the vibes if there's one thing that i don't really like about putting aloe vera in my hair it would be the simple fact that it leaves pieces in my hair so let me show you guys you guys see so these are like pieces of aloe vera that's th that's in my hair but it's not a lot so i don't really trip about it but i would say that's the only downside about putting aloe vera in your hair we're gonna go in with this rehab salve. Rehab salve is not thick, it's liquid formula. Let me show you guys. Very liquidy, so um, but it has good slip, like good, good, good slip. Good slip. Y'all see that? My hands are literally gliding. I don't think y'all can see. Let me zoom in for y'all so y'all can see. Baby, it is gliding. Don't play with them. I like to split my hair in two because conditioners, deep conditioners, they're supposed to go on the scalp. I don't think you guys know that. But it's supposed to go on the scalp. Oops. Let me show y'all how liquidy it is. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead, cue the montage of me putting this deep conditioner in my hair. I don't really do too much. I'm going to rake it through and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to come back to you guys when... It is in my hair. guys so I just finished washing um, the deep conditioner out um, and honestly my hair was still a little damp actually it's damp a lot so I decided that I'm just gonna do something really simple I don't think I'm gonna do my two big twists that I typically do yeah so I'm just gonna put my hair in just a couple of braids honestly not many braids but just a couple of them um, just to let it sit and just air dry and just breathe because honestly y'all I'm not even gonna lie my head has been hurting these past couple of days because I constantly put my hair up in a puff because I don't know what else to do with it so um, I feel like these braids will just give my hair like a mini break no manipulation no tension none of that I think my hair needs that and my head needs that so my hair is still damp I like to wrap my hair in a t-shirt um because a towel is a little bit too rough for your hair. Um, so t-shirts are typically my go-to. This is how my hair is looking after the south.
Definitely my hair is looser towards the back um, and towards the front, it's more tighter. I'm gonna go in with the protein cream. My first time using it, this is the consistency. Consistency is a little bit loose. Um, I guess that's why the flexible hold is a four. Hmm, doesn't really smell like anything. Let's see. It says rake, so I'm raking it. I think I'm gonna apply a little more because you yeah, know, I already know I'm heavy handed with my product. Okay. Okay, curls coming through, curls coming through. Curls coming through, baby. Curls coming through. Let me show y'all. And towards the end, I'm going to put the styling balm. So I'm about to put a little bit on my fingers. Let's see. Okay. It's given almost like a creamy type of texture. Creamy almost like a braiding cream if you guys know what i'm talking about like a braiding cream or a twisting cream so it has a good thick it's thicker than the protein cream guys so that's officially the end of the video i just went ahead and braided my hair up this is the final look hopefully my braid out comes out nice in the next two days i'll make sure to insert a picture of what the results look like but my hair looks very moisturized i really love those products honestly definitely will use it again but don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and follow me on my main social media account at Hairs Daya. That's H-A-I-R-S-D-I-Y-A. The link is always in that bio, and it is on the screen. I'll see you guys in the next hair video. Bye!